right, everybody, real quick, we're gonna go into how to actually integrate your ClickFunnels account with your Stripe account, and then how to make sure that that's all integrated with your follow-up so that when somebody purchases or buys their tag properly, and then the email follow-up goes out, and how to make sure that everything's working right. So real quick, We'll make sure that off to the left you can see that the funnels the way that we have to start this out is obviously having the funnel in place now if you're new to click funnels there's a you know a multitude of different ways to set this stuff up and what we want to focus on is making sure that you have an actual sales funnel in place the only way you could do that is to make sure you have an order form with a confirmation page attached to it okay so if you have those two pages doesn't matter what else is attached to it. if you have an order form and a confirmation page we can go ahead and make this work and you can collect payments and then send them through stripe and then trigger sequences in your Infusionsoft system or whatever follow-up that you have to make sure that the onboarding process is being automated or whatever it is the deliverable is being given, whatever that reason for the follow-up may be. So the next thing we want to do is after we have the funnel set up properly, and off to the left you're going to see we have our opt-in page, our sales page, our order form, our one-time offer, and then our offer wall. Okay, where it's really our order confirmation. So for us, what we wanna do now to make sure that everything's set up correctly is you wanna make sure that you know the difference between obviously the sales page and the order form. One is gonna be where you're going to sell that product. It's gonna be where you are going to actually maybe demonstrate to them that you can help them. Maybe it's just a written sales letter, whatever it may be. And then what we wanna do is give them the seven day trial order form, right? Or um, well, for you, it might be a different kind of order form. And so for us, we wanna come in now to the products. If you can tell on this other step, there's no product information here, okay? Which is pretty cool because now you can easily identify which page is a sales page if you're ever unsure. Another way that you can identify it is through the icon off to the left. Okay, you can see that this with the shopping cart is the order form. And from here, we wanna come into products. Now for me, you're gonna see I already have a product attached, but how did I get that product option? How was I able to actually get that one? Well, in order to have a product available to be chosen inside of ClickFunnels, there's a couple of things that you have to know that they don't really make very clear. And when you look at here where it says at the bottom, exact plan, and they just added this, okay? This just got added very recently, okay? And so previous to this, it never even said this, but even this isn't as clear as it could be because it says exact plan ID must ex exist in live and test mode. Well, when they say exact plan and ID, what they mean is it literally has to be verbatim. Every character has to be the same. Everything has to be the same in both. And what do they mean by that? Well, in Stripe, you're gonna have an option to go from test mode. And imagine when you get to the, uh, uh, you know, very easy to find when you get home, you just wanna, to the homepage, you're gonna log in. All you wanna do is just wanna go to your view testing data. And then you wanna go and create your whatever it is. So for me, I'm gonna create a subscription plan. Okay, so subscription plan create, and then I'm gonna create the test option. That's what I just created just now. Okay, so I'm gonna create a test option for say $10,000 a month, right, in the trial period, seven days, okay? So this is just to let you know that we have to have now, our name is test option, okay? So we're gonna copy and paste this. You have to create, whatever name that you create has to be the same name over in ClickFunnels, okay, that you're using to identify that product. Meaning, when we come back now to create the real product, if we come back now, in order to get this to be seen, Okay, inside of ClickFunnels, right? In order to get seen inside ClickFunnels, we have to now create a real version of it. So we're gonna move this from now, view test data to just regular. And now I'm going to go to my plans, and you can see I have one test, uh, one created here, but you can see it's the exact same thing. So I'm gonna go to new, I'm gonna create my test option, okay, at 10,000 per month, everything here. So subscriptions, plans, test options, right here, same one. Now we wanna get into test mode because we wanna be able to test it. This is where we wanna make sure that we have now that same one. So if I hit this drop down, it's gonna say test option, boom. So now I know that everything's good. So if I wanted to actually have it, it would be, you know, this would say test option, okay, right? That's what that would say. Billing integration, Stripe, okay? And then price on display or order form, $0 for seven days. For you, it might be different, right? And then we have subscription, the product description, okay, which is what they're gonna get to see on their credit card. And then we wanna identify that with the Stripe plan that we just created. Now the number of payment plans, don't worry about that because we're not getting into that in this training. And then the trial period days, this will, and they just put this note up there, will override anything in Stripe. So now whatever you need in Stripe, you can just create a straight product plan, a uh, you know, subscription product. Don't worry about anything else. And then they're gonna be able, you're gonna be able to set the trial period here from inside ClickFunnels. So very simple to do. Now we've actually created the test product inside Stripe. We've created the real product inside Stripe. Now what we wanna do is have 
the product created inside of ClickFunnels, okay? And now what we have to do is test it. Well, how do you test it inside ClickFunnels? Well, we wanna make sure that we're not using our own credit card, right? So if you come to settings inside of any one of the funnels that you're running traffic to to collect sales, there's this little thing called Stripe test mode, and you're just gonna to wanna to click this on. And what this means is you can see they give another great description. This is actually a good description because we're gonna you're gonna use the credit card with this, right? This is the fake credit card number that they give you. And we just wanna make sure that you have any future expiration date inside of that order form when you're testing that fake credit card number. You also wanna have a CVV number, which is this, the test code number when you're doing these tests. And you just wanna do one, two, three, three, four, five, whatever, any three number combination works. And then you wanna make sure again, it even gives you another reminder. You must have subscription plans with the same ID in Stripe in test mode and in live mode. Okay, so you wanna make sure that the name, the ID, everything that you have here is going to be the same. Okay, the name and the ID both have to be the same in test mode. And if we look here, look, same thing. I'm not in test mode anymore, but look, it's the exact same thing. Okay, that's the only way this is gonna work. And a lot of times, we never saw why it wasn't connecting. And then you would get with ClickFunnels and they would say one thing and then you get with Stripe and they would say another. And then really all it was was because we had one thing that was maybe mistyped or one thing that didn't match up correctly. Make sure that these are matched up so that your integrations are seamless. Well, this is a great part now, okay? Because think about it, what you just did. You've been able to set up the funnel, right? You've been able to identify the sales page in the order form. Within the order form, you've been able to create that product okay that you then that you created a test product in stripe and a real product in stripe for now you match that product inside of click funnels well now there's one more step so before we can actually call this a fully integrated piece of you know this this machine fully integrated for you to collect payments and trigger off the back end we now have to get into say click or your infusionsoft account now this is a follow up for our for this exact funnel here okay so this is a 31k case study and I just want to share with you, look, 31K case study, okay, 31K case study. So no matter where you, so what we have here, you know, seven day trial, right, seven day trial, okay. So you can see this is the exact same funnel that we have built out. Now, how do we actually make sure that this is all working? Well, we have, you see how it says purchase seven day trial, opt in for seven, uh, for case study. What we're looking for now is inside of ClickFunnels, when we come back to the products page, okay. And this is why we want to make sure that when you follow the, process inside of the academy we want to make sure that we're always starting with the end in mind right we're always starting with the end in mind and building out from reverse so when we think about it getting inside of the product section here with the edit part we're going to come to email integration this is where when your email is fully integrated very easy to do okay where you have now infusionsoft fully integrated with click funnels meaning that the apis are all matching and um I have no problem putting a video up with that, if, but it's pretty simple. I mean, you could always check, uh, I think, support. Even if you're using Infusionsoft, it has a pretty simple walkthrough. But the API code, very easy to find. And if you're logged in, typically, to your software, say, Active Campaign, Stripe, whatever it is, and you just integrate inside ClickFunnels, it usually does it automatically. So what we want to do is find out uh, after you get your uh, CRM fully integrated, then we want to come here to the email integration section within the funnel and we're going to then on submit you're going to want to add via web form okay so here you have an option okay i can either add them to aweber which i don't have anymore i could add them to webinar jam uh you know and, and follow up with that little sequence i could add them through infusionsoft i want to stick with my infusionsoft of course and i'm going to add them via web form and now purchased to add or list to add lead now the list is gonna be considered inside of Infusionsoft, these names here. So you're gonna see all these names, or not those, just the ones with the forms. So where are they at? These three right here inside this funnel, you're gonna see the options to be found here. So what we wanna do is we wanna say, hey, purchase seven day trial, right? Because that's what we're looking for. We want the purchase seven day trial here to trigger this sequence. So we're gonna get them to opt in here. They're gonna automatically get this. They're gonna get checked and tagged as if they purchased, if they purchased, they're gonna get thrown in through this sequence. And if they did purchase on the one-time offer, they're gonna get taken up through this sequence. If they did not purchase, but they continue with their trial, they're gonna get tagged as uh, you know a monthly member, but they did not take the one-time offer. And then we're gonna check for tags and then we're gonna start um, a new sequence for them, okay? And so for us, we wanna make sure all that gets triggered. And the other way to do that is to make sure this is there. So you can see we have all these lists from all of our campaigns 
and you have to just find the one that's titled the one that you have right purchase seven day trial and then we're going to want to make sure that all gets saved it gets saved automatically once you choose it so now that you've seen everything put into place okay if you would like to get all the help you need, because I know this can be a lot and overwhelming, but if you feel like you want some help in this, believe me, I take time out every month to meet with my academy members at least 12 different times. Now, these range from meetings that cover everything from traffic to landing page to sales copy to email follow-up to advertising campaigns, promotions, closing techniques. I mean, I'm talking about just about everything you need to have as a way to help grow your business, we go through every single week, multiple times throughout the week. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, you'd like to get to see more of how these things are developed, how they're created, and have that real click-by-click -click experience, that side-by-side, shoulder-to-shoulder experience, then just find the link around this video. Go ahead and register for the Academy today. Uh, we're gonna have and get you exactly what you see here, seven-day trial, we'll let you see and test it out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed and like I said, we have the only guarantee online right now that's gonna guarantee your business sees over 500,000 in sales in the next 24 months. So to get all the details on that, click the link around this video and I can't wait to officially welcome you in. See you on the next video.